Welcome to C Programming Tutorials. This is a production of YouTube channel Learn Rama and the Facebook page Awesome C Programming Tutorials in High Def. Uh, please become the please become the fan of the page and also subscribe to to the YouTube channel Learn Rama. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn about um, about how we can return values from the functions as parameters. Uh, or we will also learn how to basically pass pointers to variables as the parameters to a function. So it it sounds complicated, but it it will be very obvious. Uh, a little, it's it's very simple actually, and it will be very obvious in in a little bit. Okay, so let's see. We learned in the previous tutorials. We learned how to write functions and if you haven't watched those tutorials I would recommend that you watch those first before continuing on with this tutorial on the screen right now you must be seeing a link to the very first tutorial in this uh, about the functions uh, about functions in uh, in in this series of tutorials okay so let's see um, suppose uh, let's see if we if we have a uh, suppose we have a we write a little function which would basically uh, doubles the value of a given number okay of a given integer so we pass an integer to it it m doubles the value of that integer and returns back that value okay so very simple program so far whatever we have learned we should be able to do it with uh, 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 we should be able to write the program uh, or the function that we want so let's see Let's call it uh, I don't know twice, okay? Because it doubles every, doubles the the value, so the name of the function would be twice, and it will take an integer, obviously, because you know it takes that integer and doubles its value. So say int x, right? And obviously we have to specify what the type of the return value is gonna be. In this case, since it's gonna take an integer. If when it will double it, it will still be an integer. So we will basically return an integer type, right? And then what we do here is normally, typically, what we do is we basically create a variable result, and then we say result is equal to two multiplied by x, and then we say re return result because now result at this point. After doing this, result has the value of two multiplied by x, okay, and return result. And this is perfect, perfectly, perfect program or perfect function. There is nothing wrong with that. But for just for the demonstration sake, how about we don't create any new variable in it? Can we still do it? Let's see. So we have to multiply x by two, okay. And let's see where do we store the value. How about we store the value back in x, okay? Like this. x is equal to 2 multiplied by x, right? How is it going to happen? Um, what's going to happen here? As I said before, long, long time ago, many, many tutorials back, uh, I said that, you know, y this is a perfect equation. It's not even an equation. It's a basically, it's not an algebraic equation. In algebra, this is a, an invalid equation or it, at least it's not valid for any other value of x other than zero okay but in C programming or programming languages it's perfectly valid because this equal to is not the equal to that we use in algebra this equal to is the assignment operator and what it does is it basically takes the, whatever the expression is on the right hand side it evaluates it and then puts that value of the uh, of the result of that evaluation into the into this left hand side variable okay that's all it does so it's not the equality that we learned in algebra it's basically uh, simply uh, assignment operation so this is a perfectly okay uh, statement in C so all it does is it takes the current value of x, multiplies it by 2, and puts that value back into x. 
okay so whatever the x would be the value of x would be like for example the value of x is 3 it will come here 2 3 2 times 3 is 6 and it will basically put the value of x in here uh, change the value of x to 6 and then all we need to do is to return the value of x so it will return it by its name twice okay as an integer value x okay and how are we going to use it so let's say int number okay is equal to is equal to 10 okay and then i say int result is equal to result is equal to twice of num okay and then we can basically print the value the twice of percent d is percent d okay comma this per first percent d is the value of the variable twice of uh, num right so we want to print num here so num and then is and this is the result of the of the twice of this number so we have that value in the variable result so this is a tiny little program that should basically double the value of whatever the value of num is which is 10 here in this particular case so let's try it out f9 and there we go look at this what it's what's saying it says twice of 10 is 20 so it first computes the value of twice stores the value into result and then it does it prints this statement out okay very simple nothing new about no, nothing new here except that we use the value of x to compute the value of x okay now the question is that look at look, the thing to note here is that num we pass the value of num into here and the value of x became the value of num and then we change the value of x here okay we change the value of x here but that didn't change the value of num because we printed the value of num here and it kept on printing 10 okay and it didn't change it and why it didn't change it let's let me pull up my pen here um, it's very simple actually oh, sorry okay it's very simple why look at this so first thing I told last time that these are different scopes this is a, a function in one scope and this function has its own scope anything defined here is not the same as defined here but the other point to note is that this num when its value goes into x only the value goes in here a copy of the value goes in here when you change it it doesn't change this variable so this variable in memory was num and it's an integer okay and this dummy argument is a totally different memory location named x and the value of num was 10 when we pass that value into this thing what happens was it basically passed the value or copied that value in here and when we modified it to 20 it didn't change it didn't change this value okay so this this is this is why it didn't the num the value didn't change but what if we really want the value to change okay what if we want to write the function that would actually change the value of the parameter itself okay and that that's possible and the way it is possible is by using pointers and how is why is that so because if you remember the pointers are actually the variables that point to a memory location okay so instead of passing num which we end up in passing the value of num which when is changed in this function doesn't actually change the original value here of this variable what we need to do is to basically instead of passing the num itself you need to pass the pointer to num which will contain the address of the memory location num and then modify or change the value here so we are going to stop here because we are running out of time so this tutorial is going to continue in the next tutorial please give a thumbs up uh, if you really like this tutorial thank you so much